Back in 1992, young Steve had a favorite book. He asked his mom to read it to him every single night, its pages growing worn and discolored from constant use. Until one day, she heard him reading it to himself, recreating her every pitch and inflection alone in his room. After so many repetitions, I had memorized the story. Desperate to document this feat, my mom pulled out a tape recorder. And so I now present two-year-old Steve's audiobook debut. No, what's your name? What's your name? What's your name? And how old are you? Yep. How old is how old are you? Two. Okay. What story are you gonna read us? Tell me and then tell me what's it. Okay. I knew there was something terrible down in the cellar. I just knew because the cellar was dark and damp and it smelled. Don't go down, I told my mother. Why? She asked. There's something terrible down there. I have to go down in the cellar. We need the pickles. I waited and waited. He never believed me. I waited and waited. I waited at the cellar door. She never came back up. Someone had to do something. So she could and went down the cellar steps. It was very black and gloomy. And it smelled. I know there's something here, I called out. Then I saw a Double head free, but then you get my mother. Then they saw a double head free clad, clad sets to a long horn of what's it? It was hiding behind the furnace. But then you get my mother. The last time we saw your mother, the what's it? Said she was over by the pickles on the wood. I was sorry the wood set was lying. What did you do to my mother? And I gave her the spot with the room. Well, that that made it really that made it really mad. And it came after me. I swung the broom again. Crap! That didn't look that at all. It slammed on the bus and I hit it. Right where it sits down. I noticed the website was getting smaller. Then I put its tail and got even smaller. Now the website was down to my side. Okay! You better tell me what you did with my mother. God, you cry face. One of the heads made a face at me. Just for that, I twisted. Just for that, I twisted the nails. Then there was a prank some more. What are you getting so small? Because you are really, really anymore. Then what are you getting to roll it over the closet or cellar? The rest of look very sad. <laughs> it got even smaller and smaller and smaller. This one is a size of peanuts. I saw them Parker next door. He's afraid of everything. Snakes! I heard it say, then the was it was gone. The rest it disappeared before it told me what I did done to my mother. I looked in the bathroom. She was not there. I looked behind some boxes. My mother wasn't not there either. 
I look behind the world, I look inside the world bin. No mother there. I was very worried. Then I found a glasses beside the pickle jars. But what happened to the rest of her? I was searching, searching for more clues because the back cellar door was open. I looked outside, and there was the bright sunlight with my mother picking her flowers. Boy, was I glad to see her. I found your glasses in the, in the cellar, he said. Thank you, Harry, she said. But I thought you were afraid of that cellar. Not anymore. The table was it is gone. I said, stand away for the boom. Well, she said, I never saw what sit down there. She never believed me. I helped her carry the pickles into the kitchen while she gave me some milk and cookies. I know what, Harry, I never will better with it as long as, long as you were well. Maybe she did believe me. Later I heard an awful yell. Ah! Coming for the house next door. All but sad and looked at the trailer. The end. So there we go. Not bad for a kid still in diapers, huh? So Brandon, if you need someone new to do some audio books, I technically got my start 30 years ago. But seriously, uh, demos are on my website. Go listen and find out! What did you do to my mother? I'm gonna give it a <laughs> oh, I'm just so cute, that's all.